What's going on YouTube? You bet you didn't think you were uh, gonna hear from me again, right? About Casey Powell Lacrosse, but you are, and we're back with Casey Powell Lacrosse 2018 Career Mode, where we are following freshman commit Taylor McNeilis, who committed to Denver University, and this is week two. Last week, Denver won, barely scraped out a win against the Bulldogs, and uh, that actually dropped them into the rankings. They're number 22 in the nation right now, so they're still top 25 but a poor performance even though they came out with a win. Today they faced number 40, uh, the Staten Island Seahawks. And let's see if uh, Denver can pull out a win here. So Trevor Batista wins the faceoff to open up the game. And the freshman that we're following here, he's going to get the faceoff. He brings it upfield. He passes it over to Sean. The deep on Sean shoots. He snipes that thing into the bottom corner. What a shot by the deep hole. Let's look at this again on our replay. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. You, you can't ask for a better shot than that. The goalie can't really do much, and he fired that thing in there. Taylor is going to get the assist, and here we see him bringing it upfield. Passes it on to Nick. Nick over to Connor. And Connor down into the crease to Jeremy. Jeremy dumps off to Taylor, who shoots and scores. Let's go. The freshman creating an impact early on against the Seahawks. Denver's going to go up quick, 2-0. What a shot. He just rockets that thing right past the goalie i'd like to know what uh how fast he's shooting the ball uh how many miles per hour he's shooting the ball because i mean he is just slinging it in there and uh denver goes up early 2-0 uh courtesy of the freshman who assisted the first goal and scored the second so uh we we could see denver run away with this here and joey pass it over to dylan down in the crease and dylan loses it gains control again shot but right into the net of the goalie easy save and Colton's going to bring it up to Nick. Denver's moving downfield. Down to Colin by the crease. And that's top cheddar for Colin right there. Pioneers go up 3-0. 3-0 right away. And they're bringing on just an onslaught of attack. Firing off so many shots here. And they're just, and you know what? They're shooting accurate. They're making everything they're shooting. And here we go. Denver's got the ball down in the zone again. Danny over to Taylor. Taylor's got a wide open. No! Taylor had a wide open opportunity, one on one with the keeper, no one around him. And he could have easily put Denver up 4 0, but instead he passes it off to his teammate who steps into the crease, creating a turnover. And now the Seahawks are moving into the zone, looking to score, and they do. Seahawks get their first goal of the game late into the first quarter, and that puts it, that narrows down the uh, margin 3 to 1. And a costly mistake by the freshman. He should have shot that. And the Seahawks score immediately right after again, making this a 3-2 game. The Seahawks bring it within one. And what seemed like a game that Denver was just going to start running away with it, uh, now it's turned. So what was a 3-0 lead, we are now ending the first quarter. Uh, Denver up 4-3. We're going to look at some of the stats here. Taylor's got a goal and an assist. Uh, but there's some uh, important stats here. Denver has no saves. Uh, so the Seahawks have had three shots on goal, and they've made all three. Um, so Denver's looking for answers on how to stop them. They, uh, they better start looking at the bench because this goalie hasn't saved anything just yet. So Denver wins the faceoff to start the second quarter. An uh, easy shot there for the goalie to save. And Danny's bringing up field. Danny passes it over to Taylor. Taylor tries to get a little swim dodge here. Spins around over to the crease. He's got to get rid of it. Dumps it off to Danny. Danny shoots and it's just wide of the goal. Great ball movement there. And Taylor's going to bring it in. Or sorry, that was the other number 10. Taylor's going to shoot. Nope, nope. He's not shooting. He's not shooting. He's going around the back of the net. Looking for somebody. Looking for somebody. He dumps it off to Connor. Connor over to Colin down in the middle of the crease. And he's also wide. And Denver gets to hold on to the ball one more time. Ted up, up top to Connor. Connor to Taylor coming across the middle and right into the net of the goalie. Easy save. And uh, Seahawks will regain possession of the ball. Seahawks are moving downfield. Down over to Brian. Brian to Justin. Justin over to Dylan. And Dylan's going to shoot. And he finds the back of the net. And we're going to tie this thing up. Pioneers four. Seahawks four. And we have ourselves a lacrosse game right now, guys. We have a game right now. So, Seahawks get the ball. Denver's going to turn it over in their own crease. Seahawks go up 6-5. And it was a tied game at 5-5. Five, five. 
Denver turns it over on the inbound. Seahawks recover. They shoot and score immediately. Go up 6-5 right before the half. One minute to go in the half. Denver uh, Denver needs to pull it together. Coach needs to call a timeout or something uh, just to get these guys to talk because uh, a 3-0 lead is now turned being down by one. Uh, so Taylor has the ball. He's looking for someone. Lots of pressure on him, no doubt. He was the cause of the first two goals. So he's bringing it all the way around. He's passing it back up top to Brett, who brings it up to Jerome. Jerome back to Taylor. Taylor makes a nice move to the outside. He shoots. What a shot. Sidewinder shot after the beautiful juke dodge. Let's look at this again on the replay. And what a shot. Firing that thing right into the bottom corner. Beautiful shot. And let's look at this move again on our second camera with the replay. Great juke to the outside. What a shot. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. And that'll tie Denver up 6-6 six to six going into the second half. 6-6 six to six going into the second half. You can't ask for a better ending to that half right there. Great job by Taylor McNeil as the freshman who now has two goals and an assist. Uh, definitely helping his team out a lot. And let's look at these halftime stats here. Uh, you know, and this is this is what uh, I guess is kind of worrying me because when you look, Denver's doing a great job moving the ball around. 89 passes versus the 65. They're winning the ground ball game 14 to four. Uh, they're winning faceoffs 4 to three, and they're winning the time of possession 54 percent to the 46 percent by the Seahawks. But the big difference is you're seeing there is shots on goal. Shots on goal is six for Staten Island, and they have made all six shots on goal. Extremely accurate right now. While on the other hand, uh, Denver, they're, while I wouldn't say necessarily inaccurate, um, we got 11 shots on goal, and so they're almost 50% uh, what they're shooting. But it's, uh, yeah, the uh, Denver, Denver might have to sub their goalie out because, you know, if a team takes six shots on goal, and they score all six, there's an issue. So our player of the half is going to be Taylor McNeilis, the freshman that we are following in this new series. Uh, he's got an assist and two goals. And look at that, shots on goal and shots. So he's taken four shots. All four shots have been on goal, go, and he scored two of them. That's great accuracy compared to his stats last week. He was just kind of taking shots all over the place, uh, not being smart. So we can see that he's already learned in just one week that uh, he needs to be smarter with his shot selection. So we're rolling back around with the second half here. It's 6-6. Denver's looking to try and get a lead, get their lead back, because this is a game they cannot afford to lose if they were to remain in the top 25. And they stop Staten Island here. The freshman's going to bring the ball all the way up the field, passes it off to Nick. Nick up to Colin up top, back over to Nick. Nick's looking for his teammate. He finds Jeremy down at the bottom behind the net. He finds Taylor but overthrows him. An errant pass that goes out of bounds, and that's going to be a turnover. It's Staten Island ball, but Denver recovers. Here they come. Colton Jackson coming up the field. He passes it off to Connor. Connor back to Taylor. Taylor searching. He shoots. That's off the pipe. Off the pipe, and this one, it's going to roll out of bounds. Nope. Staten Island's going to pick it up, but he will step out of bounds. Turnover, giving Denver the ball back one more time. They find Taylor. He's hot right now. He's looking for a goal. He passes it off to Colin, and Ted Sullivan steps into the crease. Turnover. And uh, we've seen Denver create way too many mental mistakes like that, stepping into the crease. And Taylor gets the ball. He passes it off to Colin. Colin shoots, and he scores. 7-6, to six. this guy's on fire. You can really see the roommate connection right here. These guys have chemistry. I can't believe it. This is amazing. Taylor, he has two goals and two assists. He is single-handedly keeping Denver in this game. He's doing a great job finding his man down in the bottom of the crease. Open, with no one around him. and He's going to take advantage of that and get the goal at the end of the third. Uneventful third quarter here. and uh, So we're going to head on over to the fourth. Only one goal scored that entire last quarter, so uh, hopefully the fourth will be a little bit more exciting, and it is as the Staten Island Seahawks tie this thing up at 7. We asked for exciting, but I don't think we wanted it exciting in that way. So it's 7-7. Seven, seven. We have four minutes left in this game. They pass it over to Taylor. Taylor's going to make a couple moves inside. He takes a shot, but it's just wide. Good decision, though. Colin, Colin brings it up. He passes it up to Danny. Danny shoots and scores. Look at that celebration there. He's... Putting it away, baby. 
eight to seven Denver Taylor gets the ball again they're looking for the freshman to do something he has an opportunity he winds up shoots but it's just wide again he's struggling to find the back of the net this happened they find Taylor again coming across the crease and he can't make it happen they hit him and they're gonna look for Taylor but a wide pass again turnover Seahawks ball and see the Seahawks are quickly bringing this thing up the field let's see if they can do anything with it and that shot goes wide no they don't do anything with it so we're gonna fast forward here to one minute left in the game Denver's up 9-8 can they score here and put it away yes they can it is 10-8 57 seconds left in the game and Denver's coming in clutch on offense once again they came in clutch last week against the Bulldogs 13-10 and they're going to finish it right there. Denver defeats the Staten Island Seahawks 10 to 8 with big help from all over the place, all across the board, but especially from the freshman Taylor McNeilis with two goals, two assists. Denver's going to take home a win. It's a close one, 10 to 8, and our most valuable player at the game, as you would expect, Taylor McNeilis uh two goals two assists do i need to say anything else um but once again guys i mean it was a much closer game than it should have been uh denver want, dominating the passing game dominating the ground balls dominating time of possession uh but their goalie was struggling so that's it for this week stay tuned next week for week three